before you, Lord. You know them all by name, God. Father God, you know them by circumstance, Lord God. Mostly by name, Father God. You create them all in your image and likeness, oh God. Father, we just thank you that, God, that you are a miracle worker, Lord God. And that you are able to touch these people in the very core of their being, God. Father, we thank you that these people will be touched tonight, God. They know that they have been touched by the mighty hand of God. Father, we thank you, Father God, for people who came out, people who stood in. Hand. Father God, we thank you, God, that we, Lord, ascend to the places of the heavens, Lord God, where we need to be, oh God. And Father, we just worship you, Lord, and we thank you, Father God, that these people who's battling their bodies, Lord God, but that thing is beyond the control to fix it. You can fix it, God. Hallelujah, Lord, that you are a miracle worker, Lord God. That, God, you can do things that man can even begin to do, Father God. Lord, Lord you made us to live and to live eternally, Lord God. To live, live vibrantly, oh God. And live in joy and live in peace, oh God. Father, we thank you that, God, that we enter into a new dimension tonight, Lord. A new realm of praise and glory. Hallelujah. That, God, that we've never experienced before. Lord, Father God, let everybody who's listening to this tune in. Let their families be touched, Lord God. Let their, let their communities be touched. Let the government be, be touched, oh God. Father, we just love you, Lord Father. We invite you in. We want you to have your purpose and hold the way in this house, oh God. Father, we love you, Lord God. Let your presence just take over this, uh, this, this service, Lord God. Let us all be touched, Lord. We come to you as one, Father. Yearning for your presence, Lord. Lord, have your perfect way. Lord God, sing over us. Worship, we just worship you, Lord. We glorify thy name, O Holy Father. Lord, we worship you, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for this time that we have, God. Lord, we want to cherish you, Lord God. And it's all about you, Father. It's all about you, Lord God, and thy will be in on this earth, O God. Lord, we thank you, Father, that in you there is life and life more eternally, Father. We bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen.
of God and you know it just made me think of you know we think God is for us like he's working for us God ain't working for us because he doesn't work yeah. you know it's like you know gravity ain't working gravity just is it holds us down yeah. right Hallelujah. you know we can defy gravity by going up in an airplane but once that fuel goes out we fall because you know what we do fails eventually yeah. even if we get a little bit happy for a moment what we our towers fall, yeah. but God's law, it's forever. Yeah. We can go up on an airplane and think we got all day long, but we won't fall. Yeah. And his tower just is. His work is done. Yes. It's us who has to grab a hold of it. Yes. You know, we can defy gravity for a minute, but eventually we're going to get back to that law, right? God's law is going to reign. It's already been done. Yes. yes. It's, not, it's not because of who you are I give you the glory. Because of who you are, I give you the praise. It's because I'm made, I just give glory. Yeah, yeah. It's because I'm made, I just give praise. Because that's my identity, that's who right. I am. Yeah. And if we live doing anything else, it's just because we ain't figured out who we are yet. That's right. It's not, it's 
just simple. Yeah. We just be, and he just is. Yeah. There ain't nothing else to figure out. It's when we start thinking that we mess things up. Yeah. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will live my voice and say, Lord, I worship you. Because of who you are, I will worship you. Because of who you are. Oh, 
the public. I'm going to tell you something. You better be willing to work for it. You better be willing to push for it. Hallelujah. You better be willing to do what you're supposed to do. This is not a time for you to lay down and say, well, God's will be done. It is His will that you stand up and give voice to that great one that is within you so that not just you will live, so that the whole creation lives.
a slam or anything that are where we are, mature as we are in some senses of the word. For instance, worship, I heard Mama say that, is true. If we could really step into a place of maturity, yeah. we have access always to this place, this That's dimension it. of worship. Yep. Yep. And sometimes we have to go back yep. and back and back yep. and back until somebody gets it, until yes. somebody sees it, yes. until the veil is removed from their eyes. Yes. Hallelujah. And they realize that there's nothing, yeah. hallelujah, better than you. Yes. There's hallelujah. nothing that can separate us from the love of God. Yes. Hallelujah. That, that we, though we press, yes. at the same time, we don't have to press. Hallelujah. It's an understanding yes, it is. in the spirit. Uh, you, you know, the scripture tells us, uh, even though I have, I'm going to just say it my way, even though I have not obtained, I'm going to operate as though I already have. Yes, yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe I haven't accessed it just yes. yet, but I'm going to act like just yes. like I did yes. access it. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't get it, I'm going to come back and get you to yes. get it. Yes, hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Because there's nothing. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Better than this place in the Father. Hallelujah. hallelujah. It is pure deity. Hallelujah. It's pure divinity. Hallelujah. It's all God. Hallelujah. No time, space. Hallelujah. Nor separation. Hallelujah. 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 Let us take this moment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To worship God. To worship Him in the reality of who He is. Hallelujah. Not man's idea. Hallelujah. But God, who God has shown Himself to you to be. Worship God. Hallelujah. In spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. And He'll appear in the midst.
why it is you wanted us to be, God. And I thank you tonight, God, and I love you, Lord. Lord, I love you, Jesus. God, please, this me, God. Lord, bless me with you, God. Oh, God, that I will have time to think about other things, God, and to think about Lucifer tonight, God. Oh, I pray tonight, God, not to have a mind for that carnal mind, God, but for you, God. Lord, to walk in you tonight, God. I praise you, man. Lord, I praise you, God. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Oh, God, praise you, Father. Lord, we need to praise you, God. God, we need to praise you, God. We praise you with all our God. I praise you, God. Lord, I praise you, Oh, there's many things. About tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I don't see to understand. Oh, my no. Who holds tomorrow? Oh, my 
Hallelujah. This is not a song of death, but a song of life. Behold, I live. fixing on dying or you're thinking on dying then you've come to the wrong place because Beth and the rest of us especially Beth she ain't gonna let you die right. I mean you might want you might want to lay there oh my god you might want to lay there and be like come on man I'm done listen I'm at, in my life in my, in my personal walk with all the migraines and all this life this life you know I, I, I'm like on my knees bending under my, under my, my bottom Sitting there slouched like a soldier or a wounded warrior. Hands down, shoulders down. And I'm like, Lord, I, man, I can't go, I can't do it no more. I can't fight these migraines. I can't fight, I can't fight these damn torments at night that torments me to death. I, Lord, I can't, I can't. And, and I, and it's just like, I, I, I hear this like, hey, listen, hey, if I couldn't stop, then you couldn't stop. I'm like, who's talking? I mean, who's, and I keep on hearing it. Hey, listen, if I can't stop, and if I come from way back where I come from and where I come from, then you folks who've been in it for all your life surely can take one step at a time, on. one voice at a time. Hallelujah, because God is moved by his people. Yeah. Hallelujah. He's not moved by dead bones. He's not moved. He's not moved by quiet things. I'll not let the rocks cry out Hallelujah. in my name. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a raging war in the spirit. And there's very few people that has the capability and the ability to fight that war. Hallelujah. There's people. Hallelujah. That's been in hell. Hallelujah. That's been in the very bottom pit of hell. Hallelujah. That refuses. Hallelujah. To back up. Oh my God. Oh my God. That refuses to take any kind of answer. No for an answer. Lord, I need no. No, they, they keep knocking. They keep knocking. Lord, I want in. I want in. Let me go on. Let me know. Let me know what's going on with the mysteries. Let me know. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Best persistency. Glory to God. Start way back at the first conference we had. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. The girl was on. Oh, man. She was right there on the door of death. She was wanting in. Hey, I'm done. I, I want in. I don't care no more. But she had tenacity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, she come in. Kicking in doors. Taking names. Hallelujah. The one that said, I'm leaving God. Well, that's, that's, what your, that's what your religion is. And Beth, well, I love you. You know, you know I, don't, I don't mean no harm. Anybody, I'm, I'm, gonna have, I'm, not going, I'm not going to, I ain't going to sit here and try to uh, define everything. And, and it's, no, no, no. It's not time to, to, it's not time, it's not time to go over the simplicity of fight, the good fight of faith. What's the, what's, what, what, what is the, uh, what are you missing in it? Well, what word are you missing? Fight, the good fight of faith. What's that mean? You got to be active. You got to show heart. I mean, you don't have to be in church, you know, that's whatever. But it, it, it's a home. It starts at home in your heart. It starts at home with your mind. Yes. How sold out are you on God? Huh? How bad do you want God to move for you? Oh my God, are you willing to put down everything? Are you willing to put things aside and quit taking phone calls and quit liking on Facebook and quit going on Instagram and Twitter and, and what's going on here and this politician? That, uh, it's all garbage. Garbage. It's garbage. It's fading away. Come on. Mm. There's only one thing that's not fading and will never fade, and that's his light and his life. And when people like Beth grabs a hold of it, my God, the one, like the, the Judas, I don't know who Jesus is. I've never heard of him. I don't even care about him. Has come so far to stand up here and to declare the word of the Lord and go on social media herself and bear her soul before God and everybody. It takes courage. I'm telling you people, it takes courage. We're afraid to bear our soul even before God. True. My God, we're oh my God, we're, we are mature people. Oh my God, and then the Lord keeps on tell, tell me, my people, if my people who are called by my name, now stop, hold up. Oh. If my people who are called by my name, now the rest of us says, we're, what the people has forgot is his name. We get so used to the passages. We get so used to the praise and the worship and, and, the, and, and the preachers and the who's coming and the who's going. It's like they're done with the covenant with the ark. They got used to it. What happened? God took it. You don't take the anointing God gives you. You don't take the chance God gives you. Then you're going to miss out and you have no one to blame but yourself. There's people dying in this world because we, as God's people, Oh my God, we float by in life and we see him drowning. Hey Amen. That's, that's you. Sorry. You know, I'm telling you what, there are, Jesus, God help me. There are ministries in this nation. Oh, the Lord, oh, the sick Lord. There are ministries in this nation oh, that I have ordained and set in place for the people. Yes. Not for the people in the church necessarily, but for the people. We don't take this gospel and just go home and play patty cake. If you do, you're stupid. You just don't have no common sense. God invested in you. My God, He invested His life. How can we stop? How can we stop just right there? Yeah, I know we've heard this. Trust me. I go through, I've went through this stuff all year. Yeah, he, God's about to do something. God's about to do something. 
and God dealt with me. <laughs> you know, it, oh my God, you, you can't, you can't, you just can't. You can't stop, you can't. Because of the elections, everybody's like, oh man, that, that the one's going to go to hell in a handbasket, blah, 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 blah. Whatever, detach from it. Connect to life, man. Connect to life. Don't be afraid no more. Amen. Hey, I'm tired of being afraid, folks. Really, I'm tired. I'm tired of sitting over there. And things going through my head and me like, oh, man. And I'm going to go, listen, I ain't going to say, I ain't going to find nothing. I ain't going to. I'm tired of sitting over there and be like, oh, they, they didn't come to listen to me. You know? They all didn't do that. They come to listen to Aaron. And I don't mean, I, and all they come to listen to Lou. And the Lord's like, listen, son, I'll give you a voice. Yes. And you sit in my presence. And you ask for my counsel. And you say they come to listen to, to so and so. Right. You're putting yourself down. Which means you're putting me, no, no, you've got a voice, and if you don't use it, oh, you're going to lose it. You best said something about a dam breaking. Oh, my God, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, people, when this thing, when this thing, oh, my God, when it explodes, when it goes off like a nuclear bomb, we ain't going to know when God gets done with this process of America and his people, pardon me, and his people, we're not going to recognize Pardon me. The layout of the land. There's people, like I said, like Beth, who, who, who refused to give up. She could have. And she did. A couple times. She'll tell you. And, and, and Beth, I'm not telling you that she wouldn't tell you. That knows me. I, I'm blunt. I'm, you know, I'm respectful. I, I respect the man's book, but I would never come up here and say anything ugly, nothing like that. So I don't have to find anything. I'm tired. The people has the word. The people that has the word. They just don't have the word. They just don't have the word. Look, Brenda's on oxygen, folks. And she's praising the Lord. My God. She's praising the Lord. Hallelujah. She's screaming to the top of her lungs. My God. My God. My God. Oh, let us smoke. Oh, I'm sorry, damn. Trying, trying, trying. Lord. We have to raise up in this hour, folks. No, we can't finish this year slumbering down. God said you can't. And I hear Beth say, like, hey, dragging me up by my neck and my shoulders. Like, hey, listen, tell you what. If I if I didn't give up, then you sure as hell can't give up. That's right. My God, my God, my God. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to be real with ourselves and with the people. My God, if we can't be real with ourselves and the people, then what are we? We're fakes. Ponies. If we can't reach out to our families, hey, how you doing? I love you. Click. I don't have that with my family. I love them. I don't have that with them, though. Hmm. Well, what God has put in this family and in this ministry, I'm telling you, folks, He's bringing it all back together. He's bringing it back together like it was, like it was supposed to be in the beginning. Hmm. Hallelujah. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Oh my God. I, it don't matter whether you want to come or not. Mm. Hallelujah. Uh, when you call upon the name. Uh, there's something about calling upon the name when you're in desperation. Or even when you just, Lord, I love you. Uh, and Beth has grabbed a hold of something that that we, and I'm guilty. I'm just as guilty as anybody else for being judgmental and critical. And, and I, you know, I'm just as bad. I can't call the kettle black if I'm the same, doing the same thing this person's doing. Grab it. Grab what God has, people, because it ain't going to last long, man. I'm telling you. It ain't going to last long. Oh, my God. It's not going to last long. God, I said, God, listen. I said, I'm tired. I'm tired, Jesus. I'm tired of mental breakdowns. I'm tired of emotional breakdowns. I'm tired of getting beat down mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I'm sick of it, God. All my life, I've been bullied, God. And I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. And damn it, I'm taking a stand for my own life. Yes. If it's not for my own life, i got to do it for other people. Yes. Oh, my God. My God, 
Oh my God, there's family members. There's people beyond these walls that are dependent upon us to keep fighting a good fight. Not to give up. Oh my God, sorry. Not to give up. Yes. Tired, folks, I'm tired. And it's up to us as a church to lift each other up. And I know we all do. I'm not saying we don't. Oh God. I don't know who else is in a point in their life where they're tired. And if you say, oh, I never get tired, then you're then you just lying. Even Christ got tired. I'm reminded of the stories when Christ goes to pray. He comes back and he asks, could you not just an hour of pray? There's people on the streets. Oh, God, there's people dying from overdoses left and right. And we just keep rolling by. It ain't my responsibility. You know, I'm t- I've been taught a little bit. I have a love for my city. I have a love for my town. I never thought I had. I'm tired of seeing kids die early because the church did not stand up and take a stand. For these young kids, you can have 10 churches within a six block radius. And you can see all around you the dying creation and the darkness creeping in. And you sit there behind your pulpit and you sit there in your home and every fancy dancy. But what if it's your kid out there? What do you do you care about? God was all about community people. He wasn't about a one person man. He was about community. Yeah. And the church that has the church has failed a generation because we've been too afraid of religion saying, sit down. Sit down. We don't want to hear from you. You're you, you have nothing to say. You're you're not qualified. You've not been in, you've not been through three theology school, philosophy school. You haven't listened. I've been through the not hard knocks. Yes. I've been in hell. I've been the one on the street selling dope. I've been the one yes, to, yes. To, to, taking the dope. I've been the one was wishing God, please, please God, let someone be praying for me because I can't make it out of this darkness. Yeah. I can't make it out of this darkness, God. And if I don't make it, I'm gonna die. And there's people, even in the church, folks, even in the church, That's right. at large, yeah. local, the church. I'm sorry, Dan. I'm sorry. But the church, within the 10 rock places, there could be 10 churches. And why? 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 Tell me why. You didn't come together, says the Lord, and pray for these people. It don't matter if it's Baptist, Pentecostal. Lutheran, you believe in God, you believe in the Son, and you believe in the Holy Spirit. What is the problem with you not praying for these kids? Well, I've seen too many young people. I've heard the stories, man. I'm so, it's sad, man. It's sad. <laughs> you know. We're to turn around and help the next generation, man. Somebody falls down. If you don't go back and pick them up, like Naren says, you're going to get this if I have to pick you up and drag you. It may kill me along the way. But I'm going to get you there, whether you want to be there or not. Ben, buddy, you know I love you. And whether you like it or not, I'm coming to get you, says the Lord. And ain't no matter how much kicking and screaming and cussing you might do and how much you might get angry at folks, it's not them, it's the Lord. It is time, God says, that this family comes back together as a nucleus with that sound, that sound that resonated throughout the entirety of the universe that is a -a one-of-a-kind sound. Where did it go, says the Lord? Why did you tear it off? I love you just as much as I love anybody else. No matter how many dark places you've been, no matter how much stuff you put yourself in. 
coming for you. Then says the Lord, I love you, brother. It ain't me. It ain't me, brother. I'm coming for you, but there's a, I'm telling you, there's a sound that's got to get back in this house. That has to get back in this family and in this church and these people. It's a demand and a command by the Lord, and I'm done. Well, stretch your legs and go to the bathroom or whatever. I appreciate uh, people who are passionate and full of the zeal of God. And um, there's a soberness here. Tony shared some things. He was tr very transparent and passionate and full of the zeal of God. He has been the one on the street, on drugs, on dope, selling dope, doing dope. We need those kinds of testimonies. Larry's got a testimony like that. A lot of people don't want to talk about where they've been and what they've done, but why not? We need to testify the goodness of the Lord and how He brought me a mighty long way. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Pop, do you feel like standing up here with me for a minute? I want to take five minutes here and do something. Absolutely. I don't. I don't know what uh, your brother's going through, but I called Pop up uh, here to help me pray for uh, Ray Peeler. He said, "Please pray now." Yeah. We don't know what's going on, but we're a praying yes. church. Hallelujah. I made the comment, and I want you to, Ray, if you're still on here. Look at Pop. He's doing good. He's living. We're living. We're not dying. Yes. Ray, you're living. Yes. Yes. We're not dying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We send a word of life. Pop, yes, Lord, that yes. We're going to pray for your brother Ray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes yes. we just need to see somebody. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Spirit of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. We yes. send a life giving word yes. to Ray Peeler right now, God. Hallelujah. We gird him up. Hallelujah. The Lord of the Holy Spirit, God. Hallelujah. This body sends life to him. Hallelujah. This body sends encouragement to him. Hallelujah. This blood and this body here breathes. In his situation and circumstances, Hallelujah. He's been for many things in his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you, Ray, just like I tell everybody, the best is yet to come. Hallelujah. Be not afraid, Hallelujah, of death's door because you're not a man of death, you're a man of life. We are a people of life. We live and we don't die. Hallelujah. 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 We are the multiplication of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are His ambassadors in the earth. Hallelujah. We are those who speak life into creation. Hallelujah. And perpetuate His appearing. And we perpetuate His appearing in you right now, Brother Ray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be encouraged this day. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, God. Hallelujah. Meet every need, God, without fail. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Pop, you want to say anything to you, brother? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ray says, thank you. He says, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to. I'm going to try not to be uh, too long since Tony cut into my time here. No, it, it's okay, honestly. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord's had me really studying some things out, and I'm gonna real, I don't want to necessarily rush through it, but I just want to give it to you as much as I can, and as thick as I can, and as rich as I can. Hallelujah, because God's uh, Word is rich and thick. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. And we need the meat of His Word. Yes, sir. And, and, and I want to tell you that, um, how many knows the, the Old Testament? In our Bible, and I, I just want to say a few things and, 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 and just give some things out here. 
The Bible is more than just a book to read. Uh -huh. yes. Yes, sir. It is. It's, it's His Word. It's His Word. It's His commitment. It's His will and testimony for you. It's a legal binding contract. So the Old Testament is Hebrew. I want to share a few things with you. And if you're wondering why I got this Imago Dei, that's Latin for uh, the image of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, you are. You are. Look at your other neighbor. The image of God. Hallelujah. The Lord just began to speak some things to me, Tony, uh, and uh, the other Tony. <laughs> so good to have him here. And you know, um, and it came as simple as, uh, you know, <coughs> lots of times we look into a mirror and, and we can't see beyond our own image, just like what Tony was talking about up here. A lot of the things that we're faced with is our own image. That's right. That's and right. if we can ever get past our own image, mm -hmm. we'll find out that there's something deeper and yeah, more yeah. pure and more rich yeah. within us. Amen? Hallelujah. That's a good place to say amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And I love what Tony shared about the church has failed miserably in so many ways. Yeah. That's not to take anything no. away from the church. No. No. And I know that that was not his heart. Hallelujah. But the church, the establishment of the church can't do it all. Hallelujah. It takes a many-membered body. Hallelujah. It takes you, the image of God, going out into your community, going out into your highways and byways, and being God to somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in the, uh, in the Old Testament, it's written in Hebrew. Amen. Is that right? Yes, amen. Okay, so, and how many knows that Hebrew is an action-oriented language? In other words, it's not, the language is uh, active like a, 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 the word uh, love is a verb. So it's active, not inactive, and it doesn't just exist in past or present or future, it is. It is, that's right. It's, it's. It's infinite. It's yeah. active. Yes. And the difference between Hebrew and our English language is English. And, and I'll just go ahead and say I cheated. Uh -huh. yeah. I, I got some of this information, but how many knows it's okay to glean from somebody? Yeah. And my, as I begin to listen to some of this yeah. stuff, Tony, it hit a place in my spirit and it become alive to me. Yeah. And I don't even know that they know. How many has ever listened to somebody preach and they didn't you felt like they don't even know what they're saying? Yeah. But I'm getting it. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It happens all the time. I've heard different ones who don't who don't have a clue about what we walk and talk. And I've listened to them preaching and I feel my spirit begin to leap within me. Yeah. And because what they're saying, I'm hearing it in another dimension. That's it. So I want to tell you that when when we begin to read this word, we need to realize that the English language, we've done things down by our English language because we capture things in time. Yeah. So the English is time, which is past, present, and future. How many knows that God is not bound by your time? Right, right. Even though we want God to move. In an hour service, yeah, they're yeah. all over creation today. Yeah. Service starts at 11 o'clock, and we're going to have y'all out of here by 12 so you can beat the Baptist over to the restaurant. <laughs> Picking on bones a little bit. <laughs> but God is not bound. And see, our attitude is, uh, uh, we want God. Okay, God, I'm doing you a favor because I went to church and I expect you to move yeah. in this service in this allotted amount of time, yeah. then I'm going to go out and do my thing. Because yeah, I want to go eat down at the uh, Big Dave's or at Ryan's or wherever it is you like to go and grub. <laughs> but there's a people in the earth today, Tony, like you and like this body yeah. who are sick of the system. Yes. And they're hungry for the reality and the appearing of God. Yes. And they are aware that Tony, that God is tabernacling Himself within a man. Yeah. That He is once again bringing back to our remembrance who we are. Yeah. 
And who we are is the Imago Dei. The image of God. Yes. Hallelujah. I like to say it like this. I wrote it on my notes here. Uh, best got it. I'm near a God. Yeah. Yeah. I am His shadow. Yeah. Yeah. I thought about who was it? Uh, was on the road to Damascus. Was yeah. it? Saul. And the shadow Saul passed over. How many knows that was the image? Yeah. More than just an image, mm -hmm. but a presence. Yeah. A reality. Yeah. Yeah. And it's that kind of God that we serve, that He is alive in us. Yes. And I'm alive in Him, and I'm Hallelujah. not disconnected from Him, but I'm becoming more and more yes. aware of yes. His presence Hallelujah. tangibly within me. Yes. I love the way, and you know, it's not fear. No. It's rather wisdom. I love the way Pop said it. I feel like God's done something in me. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's good enough for me. You know what? That leaves a vast amount of space for God to do much more. That's right. We say a song, uh, What a Wonder You Are. Yeah. He exceeds our every expectation, yes, Tony. Yes, Hallelujah. We want Him to heal us, but He's going to do more than heal us, Pop. Yeah. He's going to make us whole. Yeah. He's going to make us complete in Him. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am the image of God. Yes. And, and you know, I, I, I think it was Solomon who wrote Ecclesiastes, wasn't it? And, it, and I've always told y'all that he says, and then here's the scripture. I want to read it. I don't know if Beth's got it pulled up. She took off on me. She's looking after the kids. It's fine. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 18 through 20. I said in mine heart... Concerning the estate of the sons of men, that God might manifest them, and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. Yeah. For that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts. Even one thing befalleth them, as the one dieth, so dieth the other. Yea, they have all one breath. Yes. So that a man has no preeminence above a beast, for it is all vanity. Yeah. All go unto one place, all are out of the dust, and all turn to dust again. Yes, sir. So a man without God is but a beast. Yep. Do you know that the only thing that makes us different from the beast is Christ. Yeah. Not only in us, we know the scripture, the hope of glory. But they have breath just like we have breath. They have thought just this scripture ought to help some of you animal lovers. <laughs> that they are subject to the same thing we're subject to. But the difference is, and I, I hope this makes sense to everybody, He formed man, and that isn't a tangible, uh, I want to challenge you to not just see to not just see Adam as the first individual man that ever lived, but rather the first of his kind. Uh -huh. yeah. Absolutely. How many knows that we, we sing these songs and we quote, uh, quote the scripture, he's forming in us what? Himself and a clean heart. We came from Him through our parents. I think it was Jeremiah said that, uh, is it the book of Jeremiah says that uh, we were in Him? 
Ain't it neat that he's in us now? Yes. Hallelujah. That's awesome. My God. Hallelujah. We were in him who created all things. Yeah. And he Come created on. all things is in us. Yeah. My God, if that don't empower you, yes. then yes. they ain't nothing. My God, we need Hallelujah. to repeat that to the, ourselves. Yeah. Yes. Do we know the power that's in that? Yeah. He who created all things, Tony. Yeah. Tommy. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. We were in him. Yes. And now he's in us. Yes. <laughs> what an exchange. <laughs> Hallelujah. But think yourselves not more highly than you should. Amen. That's right. Jesus humbled himself yes. knowing uh -huh. although he was equal to yeah. Hallelujah. making of himself no reputation uh, that's it. but he see that's why Tony he could touch you and heal you yeah. Yeah. that's why when he walked into the room the whole atmosphere changed that's, Come on, that's why when he that's walked it. into the temple they, they were drawn to him and said boy something's in you yeah. I Hallelujah. see the eons of time. Yeah. I see more than an intellect yeah. of a man. Hallelujah. But I see a scholar, yeah. a divine image, because he was God yeah. in the flesh, my God. Hallelujah. And what we don't realize, Tony, oh Lord, help Come me. Come on. We are uh -huh. what he is. Yeah. Oh, we're scared to say we are God in the flesh. But yet the Bible declares, Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. As he is, so are we in this. My Lord, I wasn't trying to preach right away. But God, he put his hand yeah. on you, yeah. Tony. Yeah. Hallelujah. He breathed. Yeah. I don't know about your Bible, but my Bible doesn't declare that he breathed into the animals. And I want you to hear this with the ear of the Spirit. Yeah. But he breathed into you and I. Yeah. He formed you and I. Yeah. He put within you and I him very self. Yes. Remember what I said about Hebrew is active and it, that never changes. So we've got to understand this thing. Let's read. I think she's got it pulled up here. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over the, all, all the earth and over every creepeth, uh, creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God, Eloah, This, I'm going to read it, but I'm going to give you some things here in the Hebrew. It really, to me, helps it to just completely unfold to you. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him. Male and female created he, them. I'm going to read you an ancient Hebrew translation that says it like this. And then I'm going to give you some words to, to add to your uh, uh, memory bank so that when you read, it changes. Yeah, absolutely. It did for me. I hope it does for you. And the powerful one filled the man with his shadow. Eloah, so God has made and declared an oath. This is what the word, remember Hebrew, Hebrew is actually, there's something happening here in the name of yes. God. Yep. He has yielded and yoked himself to another. Yeah. In other words, he has joined himself with you yes. because he created you this yes. way. Hallelujah. Yes. <clears throat> Praise God. So God 
the powerful one, yes. created bara filled. God didn't just create you, but He filled you yes. with the fullness of Himself. God, my God. Hallelujah. Say it all the time, but it really brings it yeah. and puts it yeah. in a tangible yeah. place. Yeah. 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 That's why I always tell you, you are, you are just pieces of God. And I think in our English language, we, we call ourselves the body of Christ and I got a piece of God and you got a piece of God. And, <laughs> and if we'll all get all our pieces together and our ducks in a row, we'll come together and make the whole of God. No! Come on. You are the whole of God, period. Yeah. Yes! Come on. But this many-member body comes together and we create one vast ocean that is God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you take uh, all the waters of the earth, it just because, and I know that there is uh, uh, fresh water and salt water, but you put those together. It's still all water. Uh -huh. yes. As much as you are all flesh bond, you are all God. Uh -huh. yes. As much as you are, and, and see, uh, and we, we think that when the fall took place that this great travesty happened. And I challenge you to no longer accept that ideology that God purposed he didn't have a plan A, I mean a plan B or a C. He always had a plan A. Absolutely. God couldn't make a mistake if he tried, so he had to create a man who could make a mistake. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. So that the man could make a mistake so he could realize he couldn't do it without God. Yes. Oh my God. Amen. This is good preaching right here. I might do like Veron Ash and get myself. I better not say that. You're still going to get me. Is this good? Yes, Amen. And God filled the man with his own image. Salon, I think, is how you say the Hebrew word. It literally translates shadow. I thought of the scripture, Mama, we are under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes. And even though we're under the shadow of the Almighty, we are His shadow. Yes. You know why your children can come to you in their midst of travail and pain and turmoil? Because they know that you can overshadow them with peace. Yeah. yeah. You know why you can do that? Because God put Himself inside of you. Yeah. Because He's a God of love, Diane. Yeah. Hallelujah. This man, this beast will let you down, but God inside of me won't allow me to let you down. That's what Tony was talking about. Yes. Oh, God help us. I got a lot of scripture here. Hallelujah. It's all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 5. I want to tell you, we're talking about being custom designed, Tony, by God. Yes. Hallelujah. He custom designed us. He breathed Himself into us. Yes. Hallelujah. He formed us. He He put His Spirit in us and on us. Yes, yeah. He did. That's why nothing can separate you from Him, Tony. No. Not death, not height. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on. There's no place we can go that He is not because He is. Uh -huh. Woo. My God. Amen. Come on, brother. Y'all remember me talking about consist and exist? Yes, yes. I got it in my other notes, but it don't matter. <laughs> I, I, I ended up, I didn't put it in these notes. We're looking at the I am. Yeah. You can say it a thousand different ways. It just simply means exist. Who do, I, who do I say sent me? 
the one who exists. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. The one who exists and consists and persists that he is the I am. Hallelujah. That he's going to do whatever he has to do to bring about his purpose in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know you got all your ducks in a row and you got a system and you think you can come up here and say to repent and say the Lord's Prayer and do all this stuff. <laughs> but it's only good for a time and a season. And God begins to grow us up into him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we realize we're more than just the people who are going through the motions. But we're literally, tangibly, hallelujah, the Amargan Day. Yes. Hallelujah. I don't think I said that right, but it's all right. The Imago Day. The <laughs> image of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, he yoked himself to you. That's why I like to say, and when Jesus died on that cross, that beautiful day, Hallelujah on God, God this hill, the place of the skull where he was crucified for our iniquity, for our transgression, so that we, he could take our death and we could have his life. Yes. Hallelujah. When he was raised, we were raised. Yes. Hallelujah. When he, when he set the captive free, we were freed with the captive. Yes. We're Lord. only yoked to him, Tony. Yes. yes, hallelujah. Glory to God. If he's ascended, I've ascended. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Male, verse 2, male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam. In the day when they were created. In the day when they were filled. Yes. In that day, and in this day, remember what I said. There's no time. He's bringing us to a place of complete awareness. Yes, he is. Absolutely. Love this song we used to sing. Uh, Kim Hawkins sang it. It was a cover. I think it was uh, Holy. Is the name of the song or something like that. And it talks about this. Let us become more aware of His presence. Let us be no longer sleepy, but awareness, conscious that He is Genesis 9 and 6. We're talking about custom being custom designed by God. Hallelujah. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. My God. This is some good stuff right here. Yeah, this may not be something that you don't already know, but I want us to take it to another level. Yes. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. What will be? Psalms chapter 17 and verse 15 says, As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. Yes, hallelujah. I shall be satisfied when I wake with thy likeness. My God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many knows that when he took the woman out of the man, he put the man. Uh -huh. Y'all ain't going to help me. Was the man awake? No. What was he? Asleep. He was asleep. I 
I'm going somewhere. He's waking us up. Yeah. Yeah. He's waking us up. Yeah. Yeah. You know how many, how many, uh, now my baby girl, and, and you know, I don't know why kids are this way, but some of them worse than others, She she's hard to get to go to sleep. <laughs> and she's easy to jump up and be <laughs> rare to go. But when we get older, what do we do? Man, oh, I need to get my coffee. I need to stretch. <laughs> get away from me. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the way the church has been doing. Yeah, that's right. We, we've been getting our bearings. We like to say it that way. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm talking to you in the spirit, Mama. Yeah. Vaughn, yeah. Larry, Steve, Alfred, Diane, yeah. Mom, Pop, all of us. Yeah. Hallelujah, we're awakening. Yeah. And we are, when we are fully awake, we're going to realize that we're going to awaken His likeness. Yes. Hallelujah. In lullaby. Lord, give me a word about being lullaby by grace. Yes. Hallelujah. You know, we like to preach the finished work, but we don't like the process. Oh. <laughs> we want to take that out. The old saints used to say, I'm in the way. Yeah. And some of us are just in the way. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Don't you want to preach tonight? <clears throat> Another translation says it like this. We're talking about uh, Psalms chapter 17 and verse 15. It says, and another place says it like this. I am just. Let me see your face. When I awake, yeah. here we go. Let me be filled uh, yes. with your presence. Hallelujah. When I awake, let me be filled, not just filled, but let me be aware, Tony, that I yes. am filled yes. with the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, brother. If you're watching on Facebook, you might want to go share this with somebody. I appreciate you tuning in. I'm watching you because you're watching me. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 12. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I am known. Yes. Then. Remember what I said about our English language. Yeah. Yeah. What's the scripture say? Now are we. Mama, go on home. <laughs> <laughs> I see you trying to sneak out of here. It's okay. We know she's going to go over and watch. Miss, uh, I'll blow him a kiss. <laughs> Love you, Mom, Pop. Love Appreciate y'all being with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The scripture says, Now yeah. are we. The sons of God. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Prison. So our English, maybe it should rather read with this. Then or now, I know even as I am known, Diane. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm knowing myself this way better. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. I am love. Yeah. I am acceptable. Yeah. I am the image of Woo! God. He loves me just as I am. Yes. 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 You know who don't love us? The carnal mind. Yeah. Are we not our own worst enemy? Yes. You're fat. You're not smart. You ain't been to school. You can't no. preach. You ain't been ordained. That's no. so what Tony was up here talking about. If we think we got to meet certain criteria to be yeah. qualified to be called to this thing, Dana. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know what God does with our criteria and the world's criteria? He walks it up and throws it out the window. Yeah. Because it don't mean a hill of beans. Uh, That's right. southern, for it don't matter. <laughs> if you're watching from the north. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't mean a hill of beans. No. God called you and ordained you before he built you and built you. Your day's coming, babe. And it's not far out. 
We might have to make this pulpit a little bit stronger, Crystal, because Dana, when she gets turned to loose, it's going to be bad. In the, in the best kind of way. Yeah. We might need to reinforce this thing. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. We're talking about what is and what will be. We talked about being in, in designed by God, but now we're talking about what is and what will be. Manifestation. Yeah. But we all with open face Beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory. And sometimes from glory to glory, my order read from one hell to another hell yes. That's it. until you Amen. prevail. Amen. <laughs> right. Hey. And I, I ain't saying that we got it's got to be that way, but when it is, when it is like Mark Sharona says, hell in the hallway, uh -huh. don't crumble, no. don't crack, don't right. break. Right. Hallelujah. Live and yeah. be what he is. Yeah. Hallelujah. And embrace rather than resist or reject. Yeah. Come on, brother. Because I promise you, when you embrace it, yeah. it's gonna confuse the hell out of the enemy. Yeah. Right. And he's going to scratch his head and go, why are they rejoicing yeah. when they should be mourning? Yeah. Why are they celebrating? Jesus. He wants to keep us celebrating at birth and mourning at death. Yeah. <laughs> but the Bible says that we should mourn. Why? Because I promise you, Job's mom and daddy, they'd have cried their poor little hearts out had they known what Job was going to have to go through. Hallelujah. But the end of the matter is God restored him. At the end of the matter, he's going to restore us back to our original image. My God, that's good preaching. Like my baby girl would say, how about Shatarabaka? <laughs> She's speaking in tongues during the service tonight, all on her own. Praise God. And that's her prayer language. I learned that from her. How about Shatarabaka? He said, well, that sounds real common. Well, the Holy Spirit's more common than what we may realize. Amen. We want to make it this great mysterious thing, but that's because we try to interpret it through the mind of the flesh. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trying to wrap this thing up here. I know Tony drove a mighty long way. <laughs> Both Tonys. <laughs> Y'all messing me up with two Tonys in the house. We could do a sermon and, and have the, the first Adam and the last, or the, the last Adam. We do a first Tony and the last Tony. And I'll let y'all work out who's going to be the last and who's going to be the first. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. James chapter 1 verse 23. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto... A man beholding the natural face in the glass. Are we going to mirror God? Or are we going to mirror our emotions? Are we going to mirror our current situation? Because we sing a song that says our current situation must have a prophetic declaration. That's it. What are you mirroring? The Message Bible says it like this. Don't fool yourself into thinking that you are a listener when you are anything but. Letting the word go in one ear and out the other. Act on what you hear. Those who hear and don't act are like those who glance in the mirror and walk away and two minutes later have no idea who they are or Woo! what they look like. Yeah. My God, who, who, who wrote this message Bible? My God. 
I'm sure it tells. Probably a group of them. But that's good stuff right there. Yeah, absolutely. Is that what we're going to do tonight? I'm hoping you're going to say a big old Amen. no. <laughs> Some of you want to say H no. <laughs> we're not going to do that, are we? No. I'm not. I don't want to. I may slip for a moment, Diane. Yeah. Alfred. How many knows God touched Alfred tonight? Absolutely. Hallelujah. That touched my heart. Those of you who didn't watch on, uh, couldn't see what was going on in the room, uh, Alfred was touched by God tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I praise God for that in this moment. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 19. As in water, and I want to give you all these scriptures because it, it really drives home the point. Yeah. As in water, face answer to face. So the heart of man to man. Another translation says it like this. When you look into water, you see a likeness of your face. Yeah. But when you look into your heart, you see what you really are like. Or who you really are. Yeah. The Bible tells us, so a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Wrapping it up now. In conclusion, I think uh, we'll we'll wrap it up with First Corinthians chapter six, verses nineteen through twenty. What know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? We said that a while ago. Which is in you, which ye have of God. And ye are not your own. Yeah. You're not your own. If you came from God. Yes. Not only that, he sealed the deal. He he, he did it twice. Yeah. He you were his in the beginning, and then he sent his son, he himself, into the earth and purchased yes. you. Hallelujah. Yep. By the pearl of great price. Yeah. Once again, He owns you. Yes. He owns you. Yes. <laughs> run, run. <laughs> As a song Gary Clark Jr. sings, I wish I could sing it, but I won't do it. I get in trouble. <laughs> run, run, run. Run, Forrest, run. Forrest, you might have got away from the bullies, but you ain't getting away from God. Hallelujah. For ye are bought with a price. Yep. Therefore, glorify God in your body yes. and in your spirit, yes. which are God's. I love that. Yes. Not only is your spirit from Him, your body's Him. Yeah. Woo. Oh, man. I'm, I'm going to try to stop. I said that was it. Jairanisi is because God is. She is a divine miracle. Yes, absolutely. The only reason we can love and kiss on that cute little face of hers, her body, is because God yes. ordained it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She came out of God yes. and she came through her parents. Yes. Hallelujah. We don't own her. No. Though we possess her, she belongs to God. Yeah. You belong to God. Hallelujah. You're, you're not your parents' child anymore. No. We need to stop trying to find uh, our approval in, in our parents and, and their, uh, uh, what is it, uh, aff uh, 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 affirming. Yeah. Yeah. Our parents don't own us. We were loaned to them for a time and a season. Yeah. Yes. We're owned by God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I want to tell you tonight in conclusion, you are the Imago Dei. Hallelujah. You are the image of God. Hallelujah. You have nothing to fear. Hallelujah. You have nothing to worry about. Amen. Hallelujah. We forget when we get old. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world 
In his hand he got the whole world. In his hand he got the whole world in his hand. Well, what about the election? He got the whole world. Sometimes you just need to say, well, what, what about my situation? Well, your job's in the world. He got the whole world. In his hands, he's got your whole world. In his hands. And where is Jesus? We ask our children. Oh, oh, I thought he was up in outer space somewhere beyond the Milky Way. No, he is here in our midst. Present with us. But yet, he says, I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, because when we grow up, yeah. we're going to be where he is, yeah. that ye may be also. Yeah. Good. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm just going to stop. I ain't done. I hope y'all have enjoyed this tonight. God yeah. bless everybody on Facebook. Uh, our next service will be and we're going to uh, try to make it a, a, we've been doing pretty good about live streaming but I really want to encourage everybody uh, throughout the week to um, you know me and Daniel was talking today I, I appreciate I want to say to the house of the Lord I appreciate you guys and we, we're not ones who want a plug or look for a plug right. but with that being said we do appreciate it Dana don't like that word plug but the Bible tells us to go and preach the gospel. Go. What is to go? But to put it out there. To be sent out. And I appreciate Bob sending that word out about this little old place. I don't want to say that. Or not little. Thank you, Tony. Y'all help me with that. But this place. Because there's people in this area who don't know. They're hungry. They would be willing to drive just like Tony did. Just like our some of our regulars. They drive an hour to be here. And it this humbles me. And I know they say if, if you have to say you're humble. And I didn't say I am humble. I said it humbles me. It, 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 it makes me feel the weight and the responsibility of what is happening in this place. So our next service will be November the 22nd. And we'll discuss the rest later. But if you want to go ahead and turn it off. God bless you all on Facebook. We appreciate you tuning in, and we'll see you on the 22nd of November at 5 p.m.